Hello, this is Tim. Today we will talk about the pressurization system on an airplane. First, let's see why pressurization is required in an airplane. If we take a helium balloon and release it, it starts rising into the atmosphere. If we look at the atmosphere, it is composed of different layers, starting from the ground with the troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, and the thermosphere. As we go higher, the pressure keeps decreasing. The balloon cannot survive at higher altitudes because we will have high air pressure inside the balloon and low air pressure outside the balloon. The pressure around the balloon is called as the ambient pressure. But in reality, the low pressure at the stratosphere layer itself will cause the balloon to burst due to the severe pressure difference. Now, if we send a human to this altitude, the result would be same like the balloon since the ambient pressures are too low. Hence, we have one reason why pressurization is required. The human body cannot survive at low pressures. Another reason is that as we go higher up from the ground level, the density of air reduces and with that, the oxygen content in the air decreases. This means that the number of oxygen molecules in the air will reduce as the altitude increases. So another reason why pressurization is required is the lack of oxygen available for breathing at higher altitudes. If we consider a jet aircraft, they usually fly in this range which is called as the aircraft's cruising altitude. This cruising altitude will be between 33,000 feet and 42,000 feet. This is chosen so that there is less fuel consumption as there is less drag and most of the weather changes and turbulence can be avoided. At the cruising altitude, the ambient pressure is too low and there is a lack of oxygen, so pressurization of the aircraft becomes mandatory. The pressurization system in the aircraft will pressurize the cockpit and the aircraft computer bay, the cabin, the forward and the aft cargo compartments. Pressurization is done by taking air from the engine, which is cooled in the air conditioning system and distributed inside the aircraft. The air inside the aircraft is controlled by an outflow valve. Let's look at the outflow valve in more detail. When the outflow valve opens, the air inside the aircraft will escape and the pressure inside the aircraft will decrease. When the outflow valve closes, the air will be trapped inside the aircraft, causing the pressure to increase. The outflow valve will open or close depending on the phases of flight. On ground, the outflow valve is fully open so that the pressure inside the aircraft is same as the pressure outside the aircraft. During takeoff, the outflow valve is kept partially open so that the pressure reduces but it is still kept higher than the ambient pressure. The aircraft spends most of its flying time in the cruise phase. If the aircraft is cruising at 35,000 feet, high pressure has to be maintained inside the aircraft by adjusting the outflow valve. More specifically, the pressurized sections of the aircraft will be maintained at a much higher pressure when compared to the ambient pressure. The pressure in the pressurized sections will be same as the pressure we would feel at 8000 feet. This 8000 feet is called as the cabin altitude. At this cabin altitude, the pressure is comfortable and there is enough oxygen available for breathing. The cabin altitude cannot go above 8000 feet as the oxygen content in the air will not be sufficient for humans. The cabin altitude can go below 8000 feet if the aircraft structure is strong enough. This is because there will be a severe increase in the pressure difference between the pressure inside the aircraft and the ambient pressure, which could result in structural damage. During descent, the outflow valve is fully closed so that the pressure inside the aircraft increases. When the aircraft touches down on the ground, the outflow valve will fully open so that the pressure inside the aircraft is same as the ambient pressure. 
The control of the outflow valve, that is the opening or closing, is done by a pressure regulator. The movement is based on inputs from the flight computers that give information about takeoff, climb, cruise, descent, and landing. In case of failure of the outflow valve, there are safety valves on the aircraft, which would prevent the cabin pressure from going too high or going below the ambient pressure. In the cockpit, indications are given in case of failure of the outflow valve, the cabin pressure being too high or too low, or the failure of the regulator.